So I'm just now getting off work, getting home. As you can see, this is a mess I have been working with for a while. I've got some steel along here, planning on building a shelf. Actually, I can show you. I've got a blueprint cabinet and it's going to end up being like a desk shelf that will be going together. I'm going to set that up in the garage. Set that and it'll be my computer desk, my work workshop area, paperwork, that kind of stuff. So I do a lot of auctions, a whole lot of auctioning. And that's mainly where I get all my tools at. Got this massive air compressor. Picked this one up $450 at a school auction. Let's see if I can find, I don't remember. I think it's about 120. So yeah, right at about 120 gallon tank here. Got this parts bandsaw parting this one out some guys online looking for parts got a massive basketball goal portable one picked that one up at an auction for $200 I've got a goal to go on it I actually have three goals that I plan on reselling and then one is a glass backboard system I'll show you the machinist lathe got this one sitting under the tarp it's about 5,000 pounds or so nice 14 inch lathe my forklift can't fit into the garage so it's gonna be kind of hard getting that one in there so idea is to concrete this entire back area from my driveway back out here which is about 17 feet and then all the way to the back of the garage so it'll, this will all be concrete and then between my telephone pole here and the shed I'm going to end up doing a like a lean-to kind of a shed so I'll be able to I'll be able to get some the air compressor is going to sit back at the end here started clearing all of that out so that big air compressor is going to sit here I'm gonna have the pipes going up and into the garage that's all gonna be my workspace um, I'm gonna probably most likely gonna have a couple more airlines coming out to the front so that I can air up tires do other kind of automotive work on the back I've got a massive generator that's on its way over as well three phase it's going to be sitting in this area here um, where all this junk is this is all kind of parts uh, this is the controller for the air compressor I've got a stand for some machines back here another parts bandsaw a paint sprayer and then the blue pool is for my uh, what is that it's for removing rust off of the metal just one of those and then I can bring you inside and show you some more of my anxiousness. Just trying to get organized to me is kind of hard. Hard to get everything in a place. And I've been working on this for most of the year. And while I'm, while I've been getting a lot better and getting rid of things as well. I just keep filling this up. This parts cabinet behind me really has helped. It helped me to remove three of these metal cabinets or metal shelving that I had at this back corner. I had three back here with all kinds of junk, automotive tools, machine parts, other equipment. So right now I've got some machines all over the place 
This one is going to be a keeper for me. I'm in the process, almost done, finished restoring that one. But these are awesome. They are just incredible to be able to just to throw not only the, the parts for machines, just spare bearings, tooling, electrical screws over here on this side I've got the quarter inch threads all the way down to three quarter inch bolts and that's all going to be my bolt area here down and then I've got machine parts and then automotive tooling in this cabinet and I'm really wanting one more of this style here but with deeper drawers because I just can't seem to fit the bigger box tooling like with the drills or uh, I've got a pocket hole Craig system that won't fit in those drawers and then there's a few other tools that are on this shelf that would really be help me to clean up a lot and to be a lot better organized if I could get them compacted and that's what is really nice about these drawers and I'm kind of stepping over other stuff that I have not found a place for yet and I guess that's one problem or one one thing that I have to find out and what you have to look towards on problem solving is what is the actual problem for me it was always not enough space for things not enough cabinets not enough uh, places not not the good enough ah, I can't even talk uh, not good space, I guess, to put the items that need to be gone. However, I got thinking, maybe I just have too much stuff. That could be the real issue. So uh, that, I would say, is most likely the problem. And I'm going to have to go sort through, get rid of stuff that I really will not use or that I don't think I will use for a while. But it's, it's kind of nice uh, just trying to get better at organizing so it's just helpful I'm missing a box but you can see what's nice about having the drawer system is that you when you have things piled up on a shelf you just can't slide them out you have to move things around to get to them and when you have the drawer system you can actually pull out each individual item. You don't have to move the stuff that's sitting up here to get the things underneath them. So just a few, and I got a lot of empty, empty space as well. So almost done. Then I'm um, built a nice tool rack here. Pick this up at an auction. It's one of the best places I've been able to get tools for cheap and a lot of cheap equipment like this here, this cabinet system. I paid $150 for this at an auction. This one here was $75. Uh, that was a really good deal since people like to sell that stuff for a lot more. Picked this one up for $20, kind of a little bit more than I wanted to spend, but I wanted a shorter tool rack I've got a bigger one but it's sitting on my front porch holding some like vanity type stuff like flowers and things like that um, just to give it the industrial look but I picked up the the wrenches here had a nice wrench set that I paid 40 bucks for at an auction and then I was able to drill and tap or not drill and tap but I used the drill and I used the bolts Ah, it's hard to see that and then used a couple nuts per bolt and was able to just make hangers for my wrenches and then just still in the process organizing finding place for everything and next has got to be this shelf but a lot of this is my heating and cooling equipment electrical as well as my plumbing and what I would really like to do is get the doors on my truck where they can lock because they currently don't lock. 
kind of frustrating, but uh, that's why I bought the truck is to use it. And I've been procrastinating on so much stuff. And that's, it's probably gonna be one of the next few projects coming up, get the locks on the truck. So this whole corner can be cleaned out and I will have a little bit better organiz organization in the shop. So I'll show you a little bit of the tools. We've got a table saw here that I'm in, almost done restoring this one. Got a nice table saw here that didn't really need restored. A couple other table saws. I've got four currently sitting in here. I've got a couple paramatic tenon machines. Make it three. There's the third one. I've got a forge. So if I wanted to do blacksmith work, I've got the forge. And really, it's all got to go. This, I'm going to keep one of the machines, the forge. I don't want to do metalworking in this shop. It's just going to be straight woodworking and maybe some smaller, uh, some, like smaller projects like wood mixed with metal. Uh, if I want to get into the machine shop stuff, which is something I really want to do, I'm going to have to move so I can get more space, bigger barn. And then this is pretty nice. I'll show you all one of my favorite machines. This is a 1948 DeWalt 16 inch blade radial arm saw. So, and as you can see, that's a mess the organization in here is kind of ridiculous and i have filled up the top i've got space up here with a bunch of junk but i hope you guys subscribe to my channel i've got a few projects that i'm going to be working on here soon i'm building tables uh, their furniture as well as some unique kind of metal and then a few other just odd and end projects i've got i don't want to give too much away because i'd really like to to have the the clickbait uh i know a lot of people hate that but uh i just want to be able to have people come back and It'll be stuff similar to like what Colin Furs does. His, his channel is just awesome. Just amazing uh, projects. And I just want to do stuff like that. It just looks so much fun and incredible. And his talent is just kind of neat. And that's my makeshift lumber rack here. But one of the projects I have coming up, I, I will tell you, has to do with my gun safe that is sitting back here in the corner. It's kind of empty and most likely will be empty for a while. It's just, I got it for a steal at an auction, uh, paid $250 for a 600 or $800 safe. I mean, it's just, I wanted a place to put paperwork and other things. And eventually when I get into the gun scenes or if I do, I don't know, it's just another hobby that would be fun. So I appreciate uh, you guys coming out and subscribing to my channel and if you want you can comment below on any projects that you might want to see me work on just start naming random stuff it'd be fun <laughs> and we'll see what we can get to and get some good projects and hopefully my camera skills get a lot better over time because I'm sure I'm probably be, I would probably be irritated if I came in and watched this so we're gonna find out here so thanks again Oh, and uh, you see the, the name of my channel is Fancy Shoes Vlogs. I didn't even think to, to give you a reason, but all my friends, they call me Fancy Shoes. So that's where the, the name came from. And I've had that nickname for a while. And I thought I would just stick with Fancy Shoes. And most people love the nickname and just stick it on the vlogs. So thanks again. And until next time, have fun.